Hey content creators, welcome to another tutorial. This one is going to be Photoshop animating, specifically frame by frame animation. So I'm going to come into Photoshop and right off the bat, click new file. Uh, your frame size when it comes to a new file could be any size you want. If you plan to try to make this go to HDTV, of course, you could pick 1920 by 1080. You could just do a square frame 1080 by 1080. You could pick any of the mobile device options if you were trying to specifically go to mobile, but we are going to use 1080 uh, just because that is our standard HD screen size. I'm going to hit create. You can see it created an untitled document for me. I already have one open. I'll show that to you later. It was just a finished version of a project for you to see. So it opens a project for you right away. I'm always going to recommend that you save that. Don't leave things hanging around called untitled. To save it, I'm going to come up file, save as, command shift S. On my computer, of course, you could save in the cloud, but I like to not be reliant on having internet access in order to work. So I'm going to save on my computer. Make sure you're on Photoshop document, not something else. You want this to be a Photoshop file and give it a better name than untitled. I'll call this animation test and click save. There we go. I've got my animation test. Now, in addition to that, I also have a drawing pad hooked up to my laptop. So it's not just my mouse that's doing the work now. I'm actually going to be able to draw with a stylus on a tablet. The next step is to set up my timeline. If you don't see your video timeline down here, you can always come up to window to bring it up. I actually like to go into window workspace and pull up the motion workspace in order to do animation because normally I think I've said in other tutorials essentials is where we want to be that gives us our main toolbar gives us our properties it gives us our layers but for this we are going to start animating so I'm going to come to motion which opens up my timeline we're going to do frame by frame animation so I'm going to come here to create a video timeline and you can see it automatically starts me off with one layer that layer is right here all right and now it's also on my timeline if i add more layers to my project down on the bottom here every layer i add starts to create another layer on top i don't want them to climb up on top of each other like that i actually want them to go next to each other so i'm going to click and drag this down next to it, which is going to, you'll see when I do it, it's going to create what's called a folder for a video group. So I'm going to click, drag this down, and you can see I now have a video group folder. This is where I'm going to keep all the frames that relate to a specific part of my project. So as I'm going along, this specific project is one that I assigned to my students. It's going to be a stick figure who's going to kick a ball and that ball is going to bounce off the side and come back and hit my character. All right. So I might keep a video group just for my stick figure. I might keep a video group just for the ball. And then in the back of that or underneath it, I might keep a completely separate layer for just the background. So let's get that going first with just my one layer here. You can see the automatic default layer came with a background already on it. The layers that I created that was a new layer came up with no background. That's what the black and white checkers represent. And I'm going to keep those uh, no background layers. So I'm actually going to delete out layer zero by clicking on it and hitting delete just so that I don't have a background layer in there anymore. But I am going to add in a whole bunch of other layers. Now, a couple of things that I should also talk about before we get too far into this, there are some settings that you want to be aware of in your timeline. And the most important one when you go to start animating is your frame rate. A standard frame rate for animating would normally be about 24 frames per second. So I am going to come down here. There's a frame rate option right here. It says set timeline frame rate. I click on that right now. It's on 2997 because that's the default for video in the US. However, we are going to be animating. So I'm going to change that to 24. It's a more standard frame rate for film and, of course, animation. I'll click OK. You can see that slightly changed the size of my layers here. Now, another thing, these numbers along the top, these numbers up there are counting out frames. 
Now, each of these came out to start with 120 frames. I'm going to shrink that down and make it five frames long. Uh, and I'm going to do that for all of my frames. So bear with me while I fast forward through that process so you don't have to watch it happen. All right, so now I have a set of frames here. They're all just five frames long. And what I want to do is start animating. And before I start animating, the last setting that I want to make sure that we know how to use here is called the onion skins. Onion skins are what allow you to see the layer before and or after the layer that you're currently looking at. And what that allows you to do when you're animating is make sure that your character is staying in relatively the same place. So before I go into those settings, let's draw something on one of my frames. I'll start right here on this first one. I'm going to pick my brush tool. I'm going to come on over here. Make sure you're actually selected on the layer. See how it's highlighted. And now I will draw my character who is going to be running along the ground. And the goal is for him to kick this soccer ball. Okay, now on my next frame, if I go to draw the next stage in the action, I can't see him anymore. So I'm going to turn on my onion skin so I can see what my first frame should have looked like. I hit enable onion skins, and then I'm also going to go in to my onion skin settings so that I can tell what I want to see. I'm going to say five frames before and five frames after. That way I can see both where I've been and where I'm going once we get going. Click OK. So now you can see that here's my actual layer where he is very thick and dark, but here's my onion skin layer where he's a little bit lighter because it's just showing me what he looks like on the side there. So I'm going to draw in my ball again, and I'm going to draw in my character. He's going to be taking a step forward now because he's looking to kick that ball. He's actually going to lean just a little bit more in. His arms are coming from roughly the same place. His head is going to be roughly the same size. Let's see if I can do that a little bit better. It's just drawing circles. You'd think it would be easier. I'm going to come to my next frame. We're going to draw in the ball. I'm going to have my character moving forward some more. Leaning over the ball because he's getting ready to kick. Dragging this leg behind. Command Z is your best friend when it comes to making this look right. I'm coming to my next frame. And this leg is going to be planted. This leg is now swinging through. So it's actually going to be two legs almost right next to each other. He's leaning forward. He's over the ball. Here's his one arm. This arm's coming forward now, too, as he's going to kick. Oh, I didn't redraw the ball on that last one. All right, and now his foot will make contact. With the ball. So now the ball is going to get sent flying a little smaller. There's my ball. Here's his plant foot still down on the ground, but he's going to be following through with that. So I'll move him forward a little. Okay. 
Okay, and this is this is the basics right here. You learned how to create frames. And really, that's the majority of this tutorial. You learned how to get into the animation workspace. You learned how to create new frames, new layers. And I'm sure I'll do a continuation on this one at some point. Uh, but ultimately, I mentioned I had already started one of these. You'll see that you end up with your character, who when you now play, you can watch your character kick the ball, bounce back, and it'll hit them. That's the assignment I give my students just to get an idea of creating this frame by frame video action. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Let me know what else you might want to see in a future video. If I do a continuation on this, uh, what more would you like to see happen uh, with the character? What more would you like to see happen in Photoshop? That's it for today. Happy creating.